Welcome back to another edition of A La Carte's 12 Cocktails of Christmas. On this episode, we are making another classic that we love, spiked eggnog. Now, we're trying to bring cocktails that we love to make almost every day, not all of them in one day, but throughout the season of the holidays and Christmas. So this one is spiked eggnog. Now, you can go very simple. Sometimes I just do this. It's easy, microwave it. But today we're gonna go a little bit more of what spiked eggnog is. Spiked eggnog typically has a whiskey, a rum, and a brandy. Well, currently we don't have brandy and not every household has everything. So just kind of work with what you got. So what we're gonna do is three quarters of a shot of the whiskey, which is Grant's Scotch whiskey. You can use whatever whiskey you want, bourbon, scotch, uh, maybe not too smoky of a scotch, but like a blended scotch, Canadian scotch, you know, or Canadian whiskey. Don't, it, there is no Canadian scotch as I know. <laughs> so sorry to everybody who's a scotch lover. Anyways, so we're gonna do three quarters of a shot of the whiskey, three quarters of a shot of our spiced rum. AKA three quarters of an ounce. Yes. They didn't hear that. AKA three quarters of an ounce, the producer is making sure I say. <laughs> and if you have a Costco that you can buy alcohols at, do it because this is an awesome spice rum. Okay, continue on to the recipe. So we're gonna do three quarter ounces of this whiskey. Now mind you, this is a shot glass that I have no measuring on. I don't care. I'm just gonna roll with it. And then we'll do three quarters of an ounce of the spiced rum. There we go. Woo, yum. Okay, we're gonna add in some egg, oh, brand new eggnog. Again, Costco, okay. Ooh, look at that. Yum. Delicious. Now, the trick with warmed spiked eggnog, you can have this cold, but if you're gonna do it the way I like to do it, I like to warm it up. Now, being that it's a dairy-based product with some egg in it, don't try and warm everything all in one shot. It's better to kind of do it in stages, so maybe 30 seconds or 45 seconds at a time. I'm using these Bodum glasses, they're double walled, fantastic. They're also microwavable. They got a little purge valve. So in this goes for, I'm gonna say about a small amount like that. We're gonna start with 30 seconds, see how it goes. Now, here's another, another fun thing I like to do is whipped cream. Now, you can go and buy your own whipped cream, by all means, go for it. Me personally, I like to make it. It's very easy. You take heavy whipping cream. You can use regular whipping cream, but trust me when I say heavy whipping cream is better. I will fight you on this. <laughs> yes, I've done the regular whipping cream and it's, it's okay. The heavy whipping cream is much better because it has a little bit more density to it. Now, the amount of sugar I added in here is about one and a half teaspoons. Uh, you can use however much you want. I like to do about one and a half. Oh, and the microwave went off, so let's take our first little test of that. If you wanna come on over here, check this out. Okay, as you can see, there's no film on it. If you overheat this thing, a film might actually occur on top. It's a little it's lukewarm. I like to test it with a spoon. All right, another 30 seconds, bam. Check this out, we've got some whipped cream happening over here. Very simple, you just take a whisk and you just work it. As if you're gonna try and make some butter. Is it messy? Not really. Is it fast? Yeah, fairly fast. Is it good? Yes. And really that's what we're going for. Now you could make this on a Vitamix. We have actually done that, we've done a race between of Vitamix and me making it. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I sabotaged that one because I did not wanna lose because I do this almost every single day in my coffee, which we'll show you at some point, but not for the 12 cocktails of Christmas. That's, that's a different segment. All right, does it look like it takes a little bit of work? 
Yeah, are we possibly gonna be doing a little movie magic to speed this up? Possibly, but I'm almost done. And if you hear that little clicking, it's actually my ring hitting this. So, because, oh, there, now it's real quiet. I'm moving my hand away, but you can do whatever you want. Look at that, huh? And you could do this, I've done that before. It takes forever. Just kinda rub it back and forth like your hands are cold because we are almost done. And if you, if you live in a cold house or something like that, you don't have heating for whatever reason, this is actually a good way to warm up. All right, whipped cream is actually done, bam. And is our eggnog done? Ooh, it feels quite warm. You can see that there's a slight film. See how it pulls? Ah. So it means it heated up. Let's see where we are with this. Mmm, delicious. Nice and warm. I think for this amount, it's a good warmth. And we take our little whipped cream. Ooh, almost knocked it over there. No place for my whisk. And then whipped cream on top. Again, you can use whatever whipped cream you like. Me, mm, this is the way to go. <laughs> I'm making a mess everywhere. Okay, last touch. A little nutmeg into our pantry. Out comes the nutmeg. Gotta have a little topping on it. Just a little boop boop. There we go. Nutmeg. And that, my friends, is a wonderfully spiced hot eggnog. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. Oh, that spice rum is so goodness. I tell you, I normally just do this. But this is amazing. This, this is a must. Now, what's also really cool is when you have your own heavy whipping cream, the reason I like using heavy whipping cream, it creates this nice film. It's nice, thick, creamy film on top. Oh, perfect. Anyways, all right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to All La Carte Cooking and checking out another one of our 12 cocktails of Christmas. Make sure you like, subscribe, share this with your friends. These are great, simple recipes. And if you have something that you actually like doing yourself, comment. We want to know. We want to know what is your family's wonderful cocktail that you love to just go to. It could be simple. This is pretty simple, but let us know. All right. Thanks y'all. Merry Christmas. <laughs>